Guys, it's your girl, Girl Meets Curly World, and today I want to talk, I want to pretty much vent a little bit about my straight hair and what I've learned that I actually dislike about having my hair straight. So as many of you may know, um, I've been natural now for about two months. Um, natural meaning I haven't been really adding any heat to make my hair straight. I don't have a perm um, and I don't have like hair coloring or anything in my hair. So um, I strictly you suggest go to the Dominicans and have them blow dry it every two weeks. And I haven't done that about two or three months. Um, so I've been wearing my hair curly and I decided I'm going to go get a diva cut and I have an appointment with Melanie, um, in a few weeks and I'm really excited about that. But in the meantime, I said, okay, well, let me straighten my hair this one last time and let me see what condition it's in. Let me see how long it is. Um, and let me just see if there's anything still there, like any feeling there. So I went to the salon, got my hair done, and now I have come up with the top five things I now hate about getting my hair done. So I have my iPhone here, so I'm just going to read from off of here. Having to check the weather. So when I'm a natural, when my hair is natural, all I have to do is wash and set it. If it's going to rain, no big problem. My hair is already big and fluffy anyway. Um, if it's going to be sunshine, that's great. My, yeah, I don't have to use as much product, but I pretty much get the same result every time. But when I need to straighten my hair, I have to stalk the weather. I mean, looking seven days, 10 days out, and then I have to decide, okay, well, it's not going to rain Monday, but it's going to rain on Tuesday and Wednesday, but not on Thursday. Like, do I really want to go to the salon to have one good day worth of hair until it rains? Not really. So I realized that that's a pain in the ass, to be quite frank. I can appreciate, now that I'm, I'm trying to wear my hair natural, not having to really give a damn about the weather. Rain, sleet, snow, doesn't matter. I can wear my hair as is and know that I'm going to be okay. In addition to stalking the weather, when my hair is straight, I, I am susceptible to deception. Now, I know the weather men and women, you know... They don't really know whether it's going to rain tomorrow or not, but they make the best educated guess. Today, for example, it was supposed to be sunny. Small chance of a shower. Why, when I wake up, it's storming? Rain from I don't know where. Like, it, really? Having to wrap my hair and then trying to find the bobby pins to do it. I don't know about most of you, but my bobby pins go missing in no time. They're under the couch, they're in the couch, they're in my daughter's play space. They're everywhere besides where they need to be. And I have relatively long hair, so I need quite a few of bobby pins. And on average, I can probably find maybe four of them. That's not going to cut it. And unfortunately, my hair isn't the type where I can just wrap it and it stays put. No, I need the bobby pins. So now, not only do I have to spend 10 minutes trying to wrap my hair, but then I have to find bobby pins, which adds on another 10 minutes. So now I'm spending 20 minutes before I go to sleep when I'm already freaking tired. I don't got time for this. When my hair is natural, I can just put it up in a pineapple, put my scarf on, and that's the end of it. I can appreciate that. Sweating and getting puffy roots. This kind of goes hand in hand with the weather issue because when it's obviously hot and humid, you're, you start sweating and, you know, sweat leads to puffy roots. But sometimes it can be a beautiful day. And the fact that if I just have a scarf on trying to keep my hair together until I get home or whatever, or if I'm rushing, my roots sweat so much more while my hair is straight than when it's curly. I'm not sure if maybe it's just because when I'm curly, my hair is like natural, it's just doing its own thing that I really don't recognize the sweat. But when my hair is straight, I feel like I am sweating like a dog. And in return, my roots get puffy. My edges right here, it's like kind of woof. Like, come on. I've only had this hair for 24 hours. And usually my washing sets last me two weeks. But 24 hours and I'm getting a little frizzies because I was sweating. Seriously. Shelling out $40 plus a tip. 
I think that's pretty much self-explanatory. I know when I have natural hair, natural products obviously cost a lot of money. Shampoo is, what, $12, $13. Conditioners, $15. I understand all that. But you're getting more than just one wash or one hairstyle or one week's worth of stuff. $40 for every two weeks to, and then to be susceptible to poof and fluff and like taco meat up here. No, 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 no. It just ain't worth it. This is more of a personal reason and um, I'm sure maybe some of you moms out there can relate. But the fact that I have to peel myself away from my daughter for about four hours, um, that just devastates me. And when I'm natural, I can just easily go into the shower, 15, 20 minutes, come out, and she's right there. And we can just continue to bond and continue to have a good time. When I have to peel myself away from her to go to the salon, then wait there, then do all this drawn out process, then to travel back home, it just pretty much used up my whole day and I would much rather be with my daughter. So those are my five cons of getting my hair straight um, and I'm, I've learned to appreciate not the easiness of natural hair because natural hair is not easy. It takes, it's a lot of effort but in a different way and I can appreciate that different way. Straight hair isn't all bad. Once again, I've been doing this for seven to eight years, so obviously it has to be something that I enjoy about it. Um, and one of those things is that it's more acceptable. Uh, in the work environment, just out in the street, um, people accept straight hair way more than they do curly or natural hair. And that in itself is, uh, is, a, is a pro. Um, of course, you shouldn't really give a damn what anybody thinks, but especially in like a work environment and you want to be taken seriously, sometimes your hair and, you know, how you choose to wear it can make people judge you right off the bat. But one of the biggest pros to me about having straight hair um, is the confidence that I feel when I have it. The confidence that I get from having my hair straight is way beyond the confidence I've ever felt with my hair being natural. Um, and with that, I just hope that as I continue with my journey and as I continue to to love myself, really, um, that I can get the same confidence, if not more, when I'm wearing my hair natural than when I have to wear it straight. It's very discouraging, especially, you know, if you're used to straightening your hair, obviously, I can't do it all year round, so there were always months where I wouldn't be able to straighten my hair because of the weather, in particular, summer. And all summer, I would feel like the ugliest person ever because I couldn't get my hair done. That is some serious stuff. Like waking up every some every day thinking that you are less than when you're not. You know, um, that's a that's a heavy weight to carry around, and I always dreaded summer. So now, you know, I, I just want to be comfortable in my skin. Period. Um, whether my hair straight, curly, bald, down to my ankles, it doesn't matter. I want to love me and know my worth and not let it depend on my hair essentially. So I just hope that as I continue with this, um, my confidence will keep increasing and I'll, I'll enjoy my look regardless of what it is. As I mentioned, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, as I mentioned in a few weeks, I'm gonna be going to the Diva Shawn to get my curly haircut, which I'm really excited about. Um, I will document that for you, give you some reviews, some tips, things like that as soon as it's done. Um, but in the meantime, I will hopefully see you guys on my next video. And thanks for watching. Bye. guys, it's your girl, Girl Meets Curly World, and I just wanted to talk about straight hair and how... What am I going to do?